Hey, it's me, Gems, coming back with another video. And of course, it is in support of Kyrie. It's so many people suddenly that are dropping videos to support Kyrie. So that's why I keep coming back to back with the videos. Um, but apparently, Shannon Sharp came out and he said enough is enough that the Nets are going overboard with the buck breaking of Kyrie. And I'm inclined to agree. And I've been on board for several days since they released that. So let's play the clip that I got off Shannon's, e uh, Shannon's IG. And then I'll follow up with commentary. And this is being shared based on fair use for news reporting and educational purposes. It wasn't enough that he apologized. Now they're trying to rob, I believe they're trying to rob the man of his dignity. They're trying to make him grovel to come and get his job back. And I don't agree with that. A man said he was sorry. Hey, I was wrong. Yeah, I would have liked to see him. Hey, I shared a link to my page. Uh, it was brought to my attention that I offended a group of people. And for that, I would like to say I'm sincerely sorry. That was not my intention. In the hope of trying to enlighten and educate my people, I was disrespectful, I was disparaging to another group of people. Could have said that, Skip, and maybe this would have, it wouldn't have gotten to this point. They gave him this manifesto, Skip, of yeah. what they wanted him to, I'm like, now come on now, y'all, y'all, y'all guys love it. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all going to, y'all, this Skip, it's kind of like you be in a relationship, and, and, and the other party said, well, okay, I need you to do this, this, this. I, I said I was sorry, but that's not enough. No, no, now I need to rob you of something to put you, to let you know, because Skip, I need to, right now what Brooklyn's trying to do, they're trying to put him in front of all the world to see. You see what happens? If you do this, others, this is what could possibly happen to you. I don't agree with that, Skip. I think that's a bit, that, for me, that's a bit much. And I've been, you know, I've been very critical of Kyrie. But I think what Brooklyn is doing now, that's a bit much. Now, I definitely agree with Shannon on that. He has been extremely critical of Kyrie Irving. And what the Nets are doing to Kyrie is way too much. And I'm going to play a clip from just a few days ago when Shannon Sharp was talking about Kyrie Irving and what's currently going on. So... I'm sharing this based on fair use guidelines, so just bear with me. But you cannot encompass no. an entire race of people. You can't say the Holocaust, may, it didn't happen. If it did, it might not be that bad. You can't start equating tragedies. Well, 300 million of my people are buried, buried here in slavery. What well, a Holocaust, but what about slavery? What about what Stalin did in the Ukraine? What about this? Come on, okay. right? Now, in the comment section, if somebody can please tell me where Kyrie said any comparison to the Holocaust, to slavery, how many were deceased and how many were not, when did he ever say anything like that? Now, I know there are some, some reporters or social media warriors that are trying to say that this stuff was in the movie that Kyrie shared, but that's not true from all accounts. The book, shared some information and, and Ron had also cited many Jewish sources for all of the information that he obtained and shared. I still haven't got to sit down and watch this whole movie, the whole documentary. I've been so busy, but I really, I'm going to do it. Um, but I have watched a few reviews and Mo Moxie approved. He did a great review with We Woke Now. Those are two great channels, by the way. And they did a review of it and the book and the movie and the information about the number that was present during certain tragedies was included in the book, not the movie that Kyrie shared. So regardless of that, Shannon Sharp still should not have said that because Kyrie didn't say that. But you see, there's a lot of that going on with the, the media where they're just saying a bunch of stuff and nobody's watched the movie, but they're just condemning it using certain talking points that they haven't even fact checked. But it doesn't matter because they were trying to push a narrative. But all of a sudden, within the last 24 hours, I see more and more black reporters and anchors from ESPN and different people are suddenly taking an about face and saying okay 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 this is enough now the information from the net saying what they required of Kyrie has come out days ago so it's not like they were just enraged today or yesterday because it just came out but it's been out for some days so just pay attention and that's why I keep sharing these two because it's interesting to see how suddenly the tide is turning 
and it could be that public perception of looking at social media they watch us on all of these social media sites they are tracking us and they are paying attention and they see the the sentiment is black people in the grassroots are rooting for Kyrie. We are saying that what they're doing is wrong and we're getting angry and they don't like that. So they're gonna have to do an about face. That's why we all collectively come together and I'm seeing a lot of unity because of Kyrie and what they're actually doing to him, buck breaking him in front of us. Like we're too dumb to see, or we just a bunch of scared, fearful people that would just retreat and say, oh my, oh my God, yeah, that Kyrie, he better repent. He better bow down, kiss the ring, give them their money, whatever they want, and just go on, boy. Y'all better not ever buck the system. That's what they want us to do. And they saw that that wasn't what was happening. So let's pay attention and see how many people start to change what they've been saying merely days ago and change up a whole new tune. But I thank you for listening. Thank you for your support. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, peace.